Everyone to know that they are here. They also have, uh, uh, Mr. Ng also had a daughter, Cynthia, who just could not uh, make it. Uh, they traveled from Chicago, Los Angeles, and Columbus. So uh, this was obviously an auspicious occasion, and they wanted to be here. So Mr. Ng, that's how I always called him. He was always Mr. Ng to me when I was growing up. He was born in 1926. And he was a com uh, community pillar in this area. Back then, it wasn't Asia Town. Back then, it was just Chinatown. He was a modest and soft-spoken man. He took a quiet but impactful approach to community change. Before he served those in this community, he also served this country. He was a U.S. Army veteran. He served in World War II, and he also served in the Korean War. He earned his chemistry degree from Rutgers University. And in this community, that's where we see his lasting impacts. And I'm going to go through those. Again, everything that he did it was not for himself. It was not because he knew he was going to get a sign dedicated to him. He did it behind the scenes. Again, because of his love and his caring for this community. He founded, he founded and led several organizations. The first that I'll mention is the Cleveland Chinese Senior Citizens Association. He was its first president. And that group and organization still exists today. He was best known for his work on behalf of the poor and the elderly residents in this area. He led efforts to establish an Asian town Asian Town Health Center. In fact, up until a couple years ago, that facility was right upstairs from this very building. It was because of his efforts, his recognition that the elderly in this community needed language appropriate health and medical services. And he made sure that that was available. He also organized the Chinese Newcomers Service Center providing just a wealth of services to the community. Mr. Eng also spearheaded efforts to provide the much needed housing for elderly Chinese residents. This eventually led to the construction of the Asian Evergreen Housing Apartments, which is right up the street on Payne Avenue. And if you're not familiar with it, after the dedication of the sign, just drive up Payne. It's around East 38th Street, and you'll be able to see it. There are many residents, seniors, that live there today for decades because of the impact of Mr. Ng. For those that live in the Asian Evergreen Housing, please raise your hand. Needless to say, they're here and they're appreciative of the, of the work that Mr. Ng did. And I apologize, my Chinese isn't good enough. But I'm not gonna do it with all these cameras. Uh, I've done that before, it's not pretty. He also launched a meal program that serves 50 seniors per day at Li Wa Restaurant. That's key because he knows the Asian palate, the Chinese palate, isn't hamburgers and french fries, and he made sure that there was food that these seniors would love and enjoy. Probably most dear to him was the work that he did for the church. And one of the later speakers is going to talk more about that. But while he was able to meet the physical needs of the community through housing, through the food programs, through medical services, through translation services, through English classes. He wanted to make sure that the people in this community also had the opportunity to know Jesus. And you'll hear more about that shortly. The street sign reads here, Stanley Ang Way. And to me, it has a couple of meanings. The street is a destination, it's Asia town, and it's going to be recognizable as part of this community for years to come. 
But I also like to think about it this way. I've already mentioned how Mr. Aang led as a role model. He volunteered his services. He cared for this community. This is what we should all do. We should reach out. We should love our neighbors because that is the Stanley Aang way. We're here today because of Ward 7 Councilman Bashir Jones. I had the pleasure of introducing him this spring at the Cleveland Asian Festival, where we first announced that we were going to dedicate this street to Mr. Hain. And we're here today because the street signs are up, and we're here to celebrate as a community. So thank you very much, Bashir.